Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video that I'm so excited to share with you guys. I hope that it will go as anticipated. So I'm going to be sharing with you my review on this Dyson Airwrap dupe. So here's what it looks like, the packaging. I ordered this off of a website that was in a group on Facebook. It was like a Facebook um, group that I'm in. They were doing a pre-order on this. Um, I ordered it like the second week in February, so it did take a little bit to get in. I actually just got it in the mail today, so that's how excited I am to share this with you guys. Um, it looks like, I don't really see a brand name. It just says TP 5 and 1, or 5 plus 1 Hot Air Styler. Um, I'm not sure the brand on it, but I ordered it in the lavender color. Ooh, it's so pretty. So here is the attachment that plugs into the wall and that everything will attach for. Um, it looks like there's three heat settings and there's no like cool shot or anything like I know the real Dyson Airwrap has. Um, so we have the regular blow dry part. So this will just attach here I'm guessing. Okay, that was really easy. So just like that. And then to change it, you just push this button and it comes right off. So you have that one. And there's this brush. This has some fine bristles on that one. And then there's this one, just like a round brush head. So that's what it looks like. So this is what I'm most excited for are these, the curling ones. So these are the same size. So this is like the, the real Dyson. This one has an arrow going this way. And then this one is for this side of your face, I'm guessing. I don't know. I've seen a lot of reviews about how this is kind of a learning curve but like once you get it down that it's pretty easy. So we'll have to see. I'm gonna go hop in the shower and when I come back, we will um, first test the blow drying. It's Cause I heard and read and saw reviews about how your hair should be about 70% dry before you start using the um, curling wand attachment so i'm gonna go take a shower and come back and start bleaching my hair so i'll see you guys in a minute hey guys i just took a shower i put some leave-in conditioner and detangler and a heat protectant in my hair and brushed it out so we are all ready to go i have the blow dryer attachment on so we're gonna test it Okay, so I just blow dried my hair. Um, I don't know, it's probably maybe 60% dry. I'm not really sure. But um, this isn't that powerful um, and the air really isn't that hot. There's not a whole lot of air that comes out of it. Um, this is really hot. Um, so I wasn't too impressed, but I mean, I, get, I got the job done, so I guess it did okay. I never have used the real Dyson to compare it to, but we will see. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, that's that's better. I know this isn't going to last in my hair though, it's just not going to, but looks pretty. That really didn't do a whole lot. I feel like there's definitely a learning curve for sure and look these aren't really even staying not off to a good start okay now that was pretty but these over here have already fallen There was that one that I just did. This one's already falling. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really impressed. Um, I didn't put in any kind of like texture spray and my hair doesn't really hold or curl. It like it's very hard. <laughs> I had to put like a ton of hairspray in it. Um, so I don't know, but I'm not, I'm not very impressed with it. Honestly, I'm, I'll definitely play with it again. Try maybe using some texture spray and see if like, try when my hair is a little bit more dry um, and see if that helps. Um, but so far, not that impressed. Let's try the regular brush and see. I'm wondering like, is the Dyson like this? But I feel like the Dyson would be better, but I don't know. I saw mixed reviews on that too, so I don't know. Okay, now I'm just gonna try this regular brush attachment and see what happens when we just brush our hair with this. Okay, so I think it helped dry my hair a little bit, but there's not a whole lot of air that comes out. I mean, there's definitely a little bit of air and it's a little bit warm, um, but I feel like it's not like a whole lot. And then my hair is naturally straight, but I mean, it does tangle a little bit, but if you have curly hair, I would definitely not use this attachment because it was trying, it will, I had to kind of work through a tangle over here. I don't know if you kind of saw me struggling there, but that's that one. I honestly don't really love these attachments, so I'm not even going to worry with that right now, but um, Okay, yeah, I was just saying, I definitely feel like you get the most airflow with no attachment there. Um, so far, I'd probably rate this maybe a four out of 10. 
Don't know if that's user error or if it's just this brand. Like I said, I'm not really sure what the brand is. It's just, this is the packaging here. Um, I don't know. That's what it looks like. I know there was different colors you could choose from. I wanted the purple because like purple. Um, I don't know. I'll play with this again and try it with maybe some texture spray when I do the curls again because I've seen videos and I know some people have made it work with the, the regular Dyson and I have seen videos on TikTok of people using like their dupe and they get really good outcomes from it but so far like I said I, I would rate it probably a 4 out of 10 and I think with shipping and everything this was around $75, I think. And I did order it at like the beginning of February. And we are the very end of March when I'm filming this. So it did take a few weeks to come in. So anyways, I'm not sure. I will definitely try to give this kind of a take two. But that's all I'm going to do for tonight. It's giving pretty late and I've got to go to bed. So I will catch you guys later and let you know how, if I have any luck or if this is just a dud for me. So catch you guys later. Bye guys. Hey you guys, what's up? It is like a week later, maybe more. I don't know, I've been sick. That's probably why. I sound a little bit funny. I just got over losing my voice. And so I'm slowly, slowly starting to get that back. Um, allergies have been kicking my butt recently. Um, usually I lose my voice for like a day or two. Once a year. But this time it almost lasted a week. And so it's really hindered me making a new video. So I wanted to quickly get something posted for you guys. And I had talked about my Dyson dupe and I was watching a few videos of the girl that I got it from and she did a video of like a different way of like using this like curling um, and she said she was pretty happy with it. So I just wanted to give that a try before like I give it my last rating and that way you can decide if you want to purchase a Dyson Airwrap dupe or not. So, let's get started. <clears throat> so basically in the video, she took like a small piece and then before I turned it, turn it on, I'm just gonna like show you, but she like, curled it a little bit and then she like twisted up all the way. So that's what I'm going to do. Just don't think this product is it for me guys. it is still not working for me um I don't know I've been watching tons of videos and I did try it another time but I wasn't recording <clears throat> and I did have product in my hair and um I've also tried it on <clears throat> like day old hair like I uh, wanted to see if it worked like if my hair was dry, but if it was like a day old and I put like a bunch of dry shampoo in my hair and I still couldn't get it to work. So that's why I wanted to give it one last try. Um, just fresh, clean hair out of the shower. Like I said, this is prob probably about like 95% dry. Um, maybe 90%. I really don't know how to measure the percentage. I don't know. But... <laughs> 
Um, it's mostly dry. <clears throat> um, and I can't get it to work. Um, I'm definitely glad that I didn't pay the $500 for the real one. Um, I mean, I'm sure the real one is... <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm sure the real one is better um, because... Yeah, this doesn't really give out like a whole lot of power and I have like played around with the real one in I think either Ulta or Best Buy before and it was a lot more powerful than this fake one. Like I said, this one was like $75 or $100. I don't know, $100 or less. I I'm probably mentioned it at the beginning of the video. But um, yeah, this is definitely going to be a pass for me. Um... I'm not pleased. I mean, it's cute. It's a, it's aesthetically pleasing, but honestly, it's not going to do anything. I might try to see if my friend wants it or something, and if not, maybe just take it to the resale shop or something because it's just going to get in the way. But that's the thing. Like, I love testing, like, these, especially hair products because, and, like, hair gadgets and stuff because my hair does not do anything like it is so just bored straight no volume and I would love to have something that's like easy and saves me time and works that's why I do love like the chi curl and spin it just it does take me 45 minutes to curl my hair when I use that so um but I do really love that gadget hair gadget whatever you want to call it um, anyways, but that's about it for this video. Um, I guess if you have tried a Dyson Airwrap dupe that you can recommend, definitely leave me some comments down below. Or if you have the real thing, or if you have any tips for me, just let me know. If you have anything else you want me to try or test out, definitely leave me some comments. I hope you are all having a great week, whatever you are doing, and that you are staying well wherever you are. See you guys next time. Bye!